What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again back with the back of the day, guys, on a couple of early pickups. We're already in the month of December, so let's get straight into it. We, of course, got the new Adidas Formula Grinch, as well as a untalked about Nike Airship, which is called the Military Brown. But you might have clicked this video because of the last Jordan release of 2023, the Jordan 1 Celadon. Today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. When you have over 9 million men worldwide that have participated in Manscaped products, it's pretty clear that Manscaped has mastered males, hygiene, and grooming, specifically for your family jewels. And with them leading the forefront, they are always coming with new product and new package deals. And today, guys, I present to you the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra. Leading in with the brand new Lawnmower 5.0, which is a humongous upgrade from its predecessor, taking grooming precision to a whole new level with next gen dual skin safe blade now accompanied by two blades the upgraded trimmer as well as the interchangeable foil blade for enhanced performance building off the excellence of the 1.0 2.0 3.0 4.0 the 5.0 it has to come in and mean business. The business is itself in the upgraded trimmer. You have wider, longer, and rounded teeth on the blade that cut through hair like ease. Tough on hair, yet incredibly gentle on the skin down there. But the foil blade is where the showstopper is. Crafted to transcend the typical hair lengths that the trimmer can give you, the foil blade is meant to go past where the trimmer is and give you an utterly sleek and bare finish. And its main mission is to leave your skin irresistibly smooth, bare, and the blade itself moves very very gentle on your skin, snatching even the finest hairs at ease. It also features the LED light so that it can get into those little, you know, tight spots that are hard to see. And it features all the OG things that we love about the previous lawnmowers. A rechargeable battery, waterproof, RPM technology at top performance, a travel lock so your battery doesn't go dead on you, a three level battery indicator. And I think I already mentioned it, it's waterproof. And since we're talking about upgrades, we also have the upgraded Weed Whacker, the Weed Whacker 2.0. Also waterproof, also featuring the skin safe technology, this bad boy will tackle nose and ear hair with ease. And something new here, the Crop Soother. Enriched with oats, shea butter, cocoa seed butter, and it pampers your delicate areas with a nice clean aftershave. After all, why should the beard be the only thing that needs an aftershave? And one of the favorites, the ball deodorant. You never can go wrong with the Crop Preserver. Put that thing on your balls and they're gonna smell good for the rest of the day. And it doesn't stop there. With each and every 5.0 package, you will get a pair of the Manscaped 2.0 Boxer Briefs. The Jewel Pouch comes in handy for your balls. It cradles them, keeps them warm, keeps them comfortable, and it feels amazing. And brand new, like this one is brand new. Like I, I, I'm about to replace it. This is new to me right here, guys. This is the new shed bag. This one is, whoa, amazing. It comes with the wires, comes with a charging kit, a good travel bag for your kit overall. And this is another free item that comes along with the 5.0 care package. And right now, you can use my link down below in the description to get 20% off plus free shipping on the Performance Package 5.0. You want to hop down and click that link down below and hop on it ASAP Rocky. Christmas is right around the corner. It's time to hop on it. Take that 20% off for Black Friday and get yourself or somebody in your family, you know, some Manscaped. It's time. It's time to shine and your balls will thank you later. And ladies, you will thank Manscaped for your man's balls looking smoother. Thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. All right, y'all, so we are wrapping up the month of November, headed straight into December, and already looking forward to 2024. And with that being said, we actually have, as far as what I know right now, the last Jordan of the year. Um, usually the Jordan 11 comes in at the end of the year, that 23rd, 24th, 25th date, but the Jordan 11 Gratitude is releasing on December 9th. But this shoe that we're going to get to is actually releasing so far said to be on December 23rd. Before we get into that, we got some other releases you guys may or may not know about. First ones first, the Nike Airship Military Brown. Check him out, check him out. So they're calling this the Military Brown, but this is more of like a woodland type of camouflage than your typical Military Brown camouflage. And even on the box, which is a really dope box. It has like a little, you know, different type of color than your typical airship. But it states air, my bad, I keep saying air, Jordan airship because the airship is now a part of the Jordan family. Multicolor oil green. 
It's a size eight and a half. And these were supposedly releasing on December 13th. And as you guys and girls can see, you know, overall a very, very solid looking shoe in my opinion this to me i like it you know i like the woodland camo so much that we made woodland camo for sample industries a red woodland camo that was actually 50 percent off if you would have hopped on it during our black friday sale which i think we might still have 40 percent off going live check it out link down below speaking of sample guys right now five dollar slides site wide all four of our slides are right now available for five dollars each on top of that if you're watching this video you right now can enjoy 40% off site-wide with the code SAMPLEFAM, S-A-M-P-L-E-F-A-M, SAMPLEFAM, link down below in the description. And lastly, we said we we're going to do a giveaway for the Jordan 11 Gratitude on whatnot. Well, we're going to amp it up and we're going to give away a pair of J Balvin's. Check the link down below for my whatnot link. Sign up if you haven't already and get up to $200 in credit and bookmark the show, which is tomorrow, November 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're gonna be giving away a pair of these J Balvin's right here. Let's get it. Supposedly these are gonna be retailing for $140. So just keep your eyes and ears peeled on that. We know that majority of the airships when they drop, they don't sell out. They end up being on sale. So it's not something that you necessarily have to go and run and buy instantly. However, this is a different colorway. It's a little bit more unique. So take that with a grain of salt. At the end of the day, the market right now where it's at, pretty much everything is sitting and going for you know, sale prices. But at the same time, you got those random shoes that drop and they go so you know it's really just unpredictable at this point but you have a canvas upper feature on the whole entire shoe with the woodland camo of course and then you have on the ankle part a more subtle suede material as well as on the nike swoosh on both ends i really like this one i like it i ain't gonna cap i'm not gonna cap to you i might have to go ahead and get these and uh, charge it to the game and utilize these on my two wild guns channel if you guys don't know i have three channels this channel, Two Wild Guns, as well as Two Wild for TV, which is sneaker news and discussions. Make sure you follow all those down below in the description. But be on the lookout December 13th. If you would like to see a full on review on these, let me know and we'll get it popping. They also come within a set of additional laces right there in all white. As far as the story, the theme, as far as I don't really know right now, there is though the Air Jordan flight. They switched out the flight logo for more of a like a in my opinion, almost looks like a military logo, more like, you know, just some sort of arm with the bald eagle and then the wings, you know, kind of replacing the flight with in this kind of, you know, the typical wings being replaced by a bald eagle flying and it says Air Jordan. But keep that on your calendar for December 13th. Next up, we have another release. This is actually releasing on the 1st of December and this is the Adidas Forum Low Grinch. Woo! I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm digging these. Now, I guess you get extra insoles once again. Last year, Adidas sent me the green one out. I kind of want to ask them for another favor, but the thing is, it's literally right around the corner, and I probably don't really mind just supporting the brand and buying a pair for myself. I kind of like this one a little bit more, too. I'm going to be honest. I like this one a little bit more than the previous one. Now, the previous one definitely got the Grinch vibes in it. You feel me? Bam! It definitely got the Grinch vibes from the previous one. This one has the same exact Grinch vibes, but a little bit more subtle, in my opinion, more wearable. That's why I like this one. That white, it hits different. It has more of an eggnog type of feel to it, but you still got that Grinch fur on the shoe, so it doesn't take too much away from it. On the box, it reads, sea white, color red, and slime. They're calling that slime, okay. But you get a lot when it comes to this sneaker. Retail on these are gonna be $130, and this is actually one of a three pack that will be dropping. You guys can check it out. I did a little video, as I stated yesterday, on Two Wild for TV, and it features uh, the dog, as well as the little girl who, like different colors. There's a brown one, a pink one, and then this one. And here's the other one. Whoa, what the hell? Yo, that's fire. Is it, is it ring or something? Nah. You have a little, Adidas ball right there. Check that out. And then you got some extra pins that you could put on the laces. Now the previous pair, I don't think they even came with all that. It did come with extra set of laces. You have a red one and that green one. And then you have this one. I really like this one a lot, bro. I just like it because it's a little bit more wearable in my opinion. And that's kind of why I may actually hop on the board and grab these. I do have my other one still from last year and I 
wish I would have got these in a little bit earlier to give y'all that full on review. Unfortunately, I don't, but maybe I could do an overview or something. They release tomorrow. Maybe I drop a little overview, talking a little bit more about them, or maybe I can't get a review in time. We'll just wait and see. But these are releasing on the first $130 and you get all this. I'm not going to lie. This is probably one of the best bang for bang, buck for buck shoe releases of the year and i'm saying this listen, listen to what i'm saying bang for bang buck for buck 130 dollars these shoes already retail i think for and maybe you can complain because you know i think these shoes retail for 100 110 as is it's a collab but you get three laces you get little balls and pins and all that the noctas which air force ones retail for what 115 now they were 110 i think they're 115 now the one noctas are 150 so you're paying $35 more with this one is I guess it's very similar y'all let me know I just think that there's a lot going on that you get and let me do my calculations correctly I don't want to leave y'all on the blind now what I meant the Noctas retail for 150 simple and right now Air Force Ones are retailing for 115 previously when the Noctas initially came out it was 110 so 40 to $35 you're paying additional for that Drake with those little beads with this one you're paying I would say that like before I think these retail for 100 or 110 you're paying for 20 or $30 so as I'm saying it's kind of in the same realm I do think however you get a little bit more with this shoe check out the Grinch on there on this one you have the Adidas logo as well sorry I'm talking about this more and more but I really do like these these are nice these are nice bottom check it out but be on the lookout December 1st Christmas time in full effect over at Adidas and let me know is this is y'all feeling them or not I would I like to know and last but not least we have of course the Nike Jordan 1 Celadon the Jordan 1 Celadon and I said the Nike Jordan 1 Celadon forgive me there's this Nike boxes everywhere my brain's not up fully it's still kind of early in the morning I got my coffee so the brain is starting to start processing a little bit better but it is what it is now can I be honest I like that angle cap I really like these before I like seeing the pictures and stuff because I saw the pictures before I saw the shoe. Now I got the shoe. They are still good, but their picture looks a little bit better. I, I guess. The, the, look, let me, let me just read the box. Celadon Sky J Light Olive eight and a half. And these are possibly the last Jordan releasing of the year. So supposedly releasing on December 23rd, retail price point $180. And as you guys and girls can see, extra set of laces in that olive. I would like if y'all would give us one more and give us that orange. Can y'all do that? Nope. We definitely would like some orange. But um, why do I not? Why, why did it go down a little bit? I was expecting the olive to be a little bit more saturated, a little bit more dark, not as faded as it is. But to each its own. I mean, it's not horrible, but it is different. I know if you're a Miami Hurricane fan, bro, this is your shoe, bro. You better hop on this one ASAP Rocky. Now, with every Jordan 1 release and everything's pretty much sitting, so, you know, how will these do? I, 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 I can't tell you. So you might have to move. You might not have to move at the end of the day. But it is the last Jordan. Not many people have talked about it. I didn't know about it till I want to say, earlier this week or late last week. I just found out about these joints. And it's weird because, like you said, with the way the forecast right now, the forecast of sneakers in general, you know pretty much every shoe that's releasing at this point. Every shoe we can pretty much tell months on out. We know it's releasing already in spring and fall, but this one, no clue. It was no clue about it till, like I said, last week. I'm like, what the hell? And it's a Jordan 1. It's very random. A very random shoe to drop for the last, you know, week of December. But hey, to each its own. It features though, it seems to be, uh, you know me with new buck and suede, guys. I, I want to say it's a, it's a suede. The, the greens are suede out, okay? Could be new buck, but it feels pretty soft, feels pretty delicate, feels pretty good in my opinion. You got this swoosh here, which threw me off, and I like though, the swoosh feels like a nylon. It's like a nylon material, like a nylon jacket. It has the wrinkles and everything of like a nylon jacket. You can see those, you know those nylon jackets that are pretty good at being weather resistant? It has that nylon jacket going on through the orange on this pair as well as on this side as well. So it, you know, of course wraps around. Air Jordan, which they've, for the most part, I would say now officially kind of done changed how the print process of these are and the fact that they're all have this like debossed popped out or my bad emboss where they pop out on the print rather than being debossed how they were previously. Now the Jordan 1 Celadon, let me see, is there any 
type of reasoning for it or celadon is the color this color comes from this or it means that i don't really see anything yet as far as how or why this one is coming down the pipeline uh for holiday season or any of that it doesn't really have any type of you know story or theme to it not to say every shoe has to but in my opinion it just doesn't i think these are fire though i ain't gonna lie whether i'm gonna cop them or not i'm not sure that part I gotta see, but I do think they're pretty fire. I like the color. I like the color. I don't really have anything like this in my collection. This orange and this this green. Like I said, any Miami Hurricanes, uh, who else? Seattle Supersonics. I would say you could probably. Can you get away with? Let me see. Let's just check it out. Seattle Supersonics. Cause this is it. Is it yellow and red or? I know it's like the olive though. And I'm I'm talking about the old Supersonics, not the the green and the yellow. There was one that well, there was it, the the green. This is the one I'm talking about. You probably can get jiggy with it with the old school Supersonics. And I'm talking about old school Supersonics. Uh, Shrimp, you know, Sean, uh, Sean Kemp, um, Gary Payton. There's a little bit of orange in those outlines, okay? You might can, you might can get jiggy with that. I think you can, get, you can get away with that, honestly. Yeah. But the Celadon releasing on December 23rd. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on these. How y'all feeling about these down below. And also, if you got to the end of this video, do you like these? the more close up and personal videos. I've been doing a lot from the you know the table and standing and all that. I was like, let me get back to kind of sitting down and getting close up and personal with you guys so close that you can smell my goddamn breath. Okay, let me know. If, if, if it matters, if it don't even matter, if you don't even care, that's another thing, let me know as well because I kind of like this, this angle a little bit too. I might start doing some more of this, but with all that being said, I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I'm out. Peace.